we are getting ready to go on a road trip to Phoenix, Arizona. Layla Jane, your daddy plays the guitar. He would probably love to teach you. Are we going on a road trip tomorrow? Good morning, everyone. Today, Layla Jane and I are at Target. We are getting ready to go on a road trip to Phoenix, Arizona to go visit my sister and my nieces and nephews and my brother-in-law because my nieces are having their dance recital and they're moving to Nashville soon. So we wanna go see them before they move. You ready to go see your cousins and your aunt and uncle? So we have to go stock up on a few goods for the road trip. So of course, we're going to our favorite store, Target. So we use Similac formula and normally I just buy the powdered formula and mix the bottles. And I will be doing that in Arizona, but for the car ride, it's gonna be a lot easier to have some of those ready-made formulas. Even though they're only two ounces and she eats four ounces, it's still easier just to give her a couple of those. So I will be getting this. I don't really need to bring anything like this to Arizona with us, but I really was curious just to see what some of the toys are for little newborns. What is this cute little thing? It plays music. So squeeze his hand. Oh! Oh, that's cute. Oh, I think she would like that. And then these to put on her car seat. That might not be a bad idea to have for the car ride to keep her entertained. I have a mirror. She loves to look in the mirror. A lot of cute things for newborns. And I need to steer clear of the clothing section because I will spend a fortune on this little girl with clothes. I just have so much fun dressing her up, so gotta leave that section quickly. I always like to go to Phoenix and bring a little treat or a toy or something for my nieces and nephew. So I'm gonna try to find either a little something, a little toy, or maybe even a candy. There's this fun little section here at Target that has different things. There's this a jelly bubble. Hmm. Oh, this looks like slime. You can never go wrong with slime. Ooh, I wonder if this is a bouncy ball. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it lights up, too. That's kind of fun. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. I might look at the candy, too, and then make a decision. Oh, look at this little guitar. Layla Jane, your daddy plays the guitar. He would probably love to teach you. Maybe we'll have to get this for you one day, but this is for one and a half year old, so you're a little too young, honey. I wonder if Addie and Maya would like these. I've never seen these before, but I know they like Oreos. Maybe I'll get these and bring them for her, for them. Well, they also have all these little candies. They love M&M's, Addie and Maya do, so maybe I'll get some of these too for them. Uh-oh, someone's coming alive. Are you, did you wanna wake up for our Target trip? You don't want to miss out on this. Here, let's put your bunny on. There you go, she loves her bunny. We're having to cut this trip short because somebody is unhappy. Stay, keep your pinky in. Keep your pinky in. Uh oh, nope. There. All right, well that's not gonna last very long, so we've gotta get going. We made it out of Target without causing too much of a scene with her crying. And of course she fell asleep as soon as we walked outside. She's still in her car seat because she's sound asleep. So I'm just gonna let her take a nap in there. And I am up in her nursery and I am going to start packing for her first vacation. We're only going to be there for two nights. We're leaving on Thursday and coming back early Saturday morning. However, there's still a ton of stuff you need when you're bringing a baby with you on a trip. And I intend on traveling a lot with her, so I just gotta get used to this. First, I'm gonna need a lot of onesies. So we're gonna be there all well, Thursday we're going to leave early in the morning, we're going to be there all day Friday, and then we're going to leave Saturday morning. So I'm estimating maybe two onesies a day in case she spits up on one or it gets dirty. So that would be about six onesies. However, I always like to over prepare, so I'm actually going to bring eight onesies. So I packed a bunch of onesies and just put them in a little Ziploc bag. So this will be all of her onesies. I also am getting a bag together with all of her little accessories. So for instance, I have her mittens that she wears so she doesn't scratch her face. Some socks. And then I have a few little headbands that I'm going to be bringing. 
And I think I'm going to get just a couple more headbands. And that'll probably be it. She won't need a hat because Phoenix is already so hot right now. Let's see, I also need to bring a few blankets. So I think I'll probably bring about two blankets. And we will be staying at my sister's house. And the first day we are going to have a washer and dryer. So I will be able to do laundry the first day. But then after that, the movers come, because as I mentioned, they're moving to Nashville. And so we won't have access to that anymore. So I'm gonna do all my laundry Thursday night and, re and clean anything that I might need more of. Taking an entire sleeve of diapers. I think there's 44 in here. It's just easier just to grab this whole thing and bring it. Entire thing of wipes. Doing okay, hun? Oh, hi, sweetie. I'm also gonna bring her little tutu in case she wants to dress up one night. So I'll have this with us too. I need to get one more blanket and a few burp cloths. blanket and burp cloths. I'm also gonna bring some baby wash, just in case I need to give her a bath while we're there. A couple toys for the car ride, something to keep her entertained by. She loves mirrors, so definitely bring something with mirrors on it. All right, girl, let's go downstairs and pack up the rest of your stuff. I'm going to pack up her diaper bag now. So this will be in the car with us. So I need everything that I want accessible to quickly get at because this will be with us and not in the trunk. So obviously I'm gonna need diapers. So I already have a few diapers in here. I'm gonna bring some more. Make sure I have plenty for the car ride. Okay, so these will go in here. I have baby wipes that will be in here. And then I also have these little mini trash bags to put any dirty diapers in. So before we get to any stopping place or any gas station, I can just be throwing dirty diapers in here and then throw this away when we get there. Pacifiers are gonna go in here. Let me go get one. So here's one, I need to go find some more and put more in here because she loves her pacifiers and it's an absolute crisis if I forget a pacifier. You know, I'm going to put a change of clothes in here too because I put all of the onesies in her suitcase, but just realized right now I need to have some that are accessible too. So I'm gonna put a change of clothes in here and then I also need bibs. Bibs are gonna go in here. Just remember diaper cream and lotion need to go in the diaper bag. All right, back upstairs. I'm gonna take out just a couple of onesies or maybe just one onesie to put in my diaper bag just in case I need to change her clothes while we're on the road. Or not while we're driving, obviously, but if we stop somewhere, so it's right in my diaper bag. I need to pack this. This is the wrap I wear when I need to wear her around me. Definitely, I'm not putting this in my diaper bag because I'm not gonna need it while we're driving, but it's going in my suitcase because I will definitely want to have this with us in Phoenix. Ooh, this is getting full very quickly. <laughs> I need to bring hand sanitizer and put that in the diaper bag. That's always good to have. All right, I think I'm good upstairs again. I'm gonna leave this for now. The morning of, I'm going to pack her sounds machine, the baby monitor, and her shush machine. But obviously I'm gonna need that tonight, so I won't pack those until first thing in the morning. Just for remembered, I need all of our swaddles, uh, so our swaddlers. So I'm gonna pack these. I'm getting there. I keep remembering things and have to keep running back up and down the stairs. But I think I'm good so far, so I'm gonna try to go now and do the bottles. All right, here's the most important part, her food. This is gonna go in the back seat right next to her. So I already got, which we just got at Target, the little mini formulas. I'll probably use these on the road, but I'm also gonna have to pack some bottles to use while we're in Phoenix. So I'm gonna have to pack a few of these. She has eight bottles a day usually. So I'll probably bring, um, well, probably maybe just four or five of them because I will be at my sister's house and I'll be able to wash them really fast. I'll have four of these and then I'm gonna bring, of course, the powder. I need to have this. Um, I'll probably bring this, the baby fuel bottle because that one's just kind of convenient to have. I need to bring her vitamin D medicine. 
She has to have a drop of this every day. Definitely bring some gas medicine. I'll probably need to bring her baby warmer, the bottle warmer. Um, again, so much I have to bring, but that's just life of the baby. So this will be coming with us. And, oh, one other thing. I'll probably bring this. This is just a little container uh, to keep formula in. That's really convenient. When you open it up, it has three little compartments, so enough for three different bottles, and then there's a pour spout to just pour it into the bottle when you're ready to use it. And I think that's it. I think that'll be her food bag. Well, I feel like I've done as much as I can right now. So we leave tomorrow morning. There's a lot of things that I'm gonna just have to pack, you know, right in the morning. So we'll probably get up, um, I'll feed her, change her, pack up the rest of her bottles, and then we're just going to hit the road. So I need to get my stuff packed, so I'm gonna go do that in a little bit. We are so excited to go, aren't we, honey? I'm really excited to go because she's never been to Arizona and she hasn't met her Uncle Jason yet and one of her other cousins, so she'll get to meet them for the first time when we get out there. It is almost noon now and I think I'm just going to try to get myself a little bit packed before she wakes up because there's no telling. She'll probably wake up any moment now. And also, I want to get like my food bag packed because I like to have a bag of food when I'm driving from Orange County to, to Arizona. So you're not the only one, Missy, who gets a food bag. Are we going on a road trip? Are we going on a road trip tomorrow? Well, she woke up, so I got my food bag packed, but that was about it, so I guess I'll do my packing later. We're just gonna play here for a little bit, and then I guess we're just gonna head out tomorrow for our first road trip, which of course I'll be filming, um, but I'm definitely a little nervous about it. You know, five hours, five and a half, six hours on the road. It's a little nerve wracking. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and it'll just be the first of many adventures we have together. We're off tomorrow on an adventure. Say goodbye for now. <laughs>